Hello everybody, Cyberverse Prime here, and uh, tonight we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Studio Series, The Last Night, Hot Rod. Um, this is a figure that I got this past Christmas. It's a really enjoyable figure, and I really am in love with this. Thank you, bro, for getting this for my birthday. I mean, my birthday, Christmas, <laughs> for Christmas. Oh, Jesus, my birthday was like freaking three months ago, God. <laughs> But um, nonetheless, here is Hot Rod, and I have to say, this thing is by far superior than that original Deluxe that we got back five years ago. Yeah, the TLK is five years old, and the 2007 movie is 15 years old. I'm old, <laughs> but nonetheless... This um this figure is really nice. It comes with the stop the time uh, the stop the time gun. Really nice. Um, definitely needs more paint than just a light blue, <laughs> but it's good nonetheless. In terms of articulation for bot mode, he's got a ball joint here at the head. Sorry, my fat thumb is in the way. Um, he's got a uh, ball jointed uh, shoulders bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, I think that's about 90 degrees, I could be wrong, he's got wrist rotation, he's got a waist joint, which is really cool to see on a deluxe figure, he's got ball jointed uh, hips, um, thigh swivel, he's got a 90 degree bend at the knee if you push this wheel a little bit um, out, and then here at the, th this, this part's weird, I don't really get, I think most of it is due to transformation. I could be wrong on that, but he's got a forward and back motion and he can do a slight ankle tilt um, with a ball jointed uh, joint there. So yeah, that is Hot Rod in robot mode. And you know, I can't help but tell, I can't help but to repeat myself. This figure is gorgeous. <laughs> If you can get one, get one. Really, you should. It's a great, whoops, it's a great figure, and it's um, I don't know. There, he's just he's just got a certain charm to him. But nonetheless, let's get into some some uh, size comparisons. And here is Hot Rod next to some of uh, other Studio Series figures. Um, we got Revenge of the Fallen, Bumblebee, Premium Finish, Optimus, and, uh, Lockdown. Now, the reasoning why I compared, uh, Lockdown here with Hot Rod was because Hasbro, there is no excuse now why you can't redo this Lockdown figure. This thing has got a turtle shell. If, have you seen your Hot Rod figure? That's another thing that I really like about this figure is that it's a Lamborghini, but it hides away its car parts a lot more than Lockdown does. And, you know, I get it. This was an early um, figure that they decided to do early on, but I think with in terms of modern technology for a figure that came out, I think, four years ago now. Yeah, four, four to five years ago now, this figure was released, and I really think Hasbro could, you know, do some modifications or possibly even make a brand new version of Lockdown. So, Hasbro, remake this, please. This is still, it's, it's better than your original, but it's still not the best. Nonetheless, um, those are the size comparisons. And now we get into something called transformation time, yes. So, here we go. Oh boy, this one's a doozy. Um, basically, there, there's real no... There's really no start and there's really no finish. <laughs> you, you just gotta get this guy to vehicle mode and then it's done from there, but... <laughs> Oh, God. Um, I'm not really looking forward to this. I've only done it once. Um, but nonetheless, um, what you want to do is... Uh, oh, boy. I guess 
fold these down. <clears throat> oh, wait, now I remember. Um, you want to basically... Um, I know you got to rotate this part out. And, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This part's cool. You got to rotate these parts down like that. And then you got to somehow rotate is it this part yeah it's this part that's um <clears throat> damn i grieve i i deeply apologize I, i've only done this once so <sighs> dang okay yeah 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 you flip that up <clears throat> And then these bits with, from his torso, they fold and make this shape. God, this is terrible already. But, um, oh, the legs. The legs are a bit of a pain in the ass. Not gonna lie. They're a bit of a pain. Uh, basically, come back here. That makes the wing. And then this part... I think you do something like this maybe uh oh my god i'm wasting so much time <laughs> I i'm sorry i really should have practiced this oh, okay yeah you rotate the wheel like that and then you flip this part somehow you flip it in oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah push that in push that and then rotate this on the ball joint. God, that, that part's not the greatest engineering design. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, that's kind of not wanting to work, and I don't understand why. Oh, that's why. <laughs> you got to fold that piece out. Sorry, had a brain fart. You gotta, there's a lot of untabbing and swiveling you gotta do with this guy. Very masterpiece level of engineering. I, 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 I say that briefly, because to me it is almost masterpiece level of how you transform this damn thing. And then you rotate that again. No, yeah, and there we go. And then you rotate these bits there and then you tab these in <clears throat> and I think you do a bumblebee or pull a bumblebee and rotate his waist I could be wrong though okay that looks mighty ugly I don't know why that is oh never mind <laughs> And then, yeah, you rotate his waist, just like Bumblebee, 180 degrees. You rotate this piece up, rotate that piece up. Then the arms form the, yeah, they form the front of the vehicle, just like Bumblebee. The doors fold down. This, what do you do? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a, this is a cool part of the transformation. You flip this around, flip these little pit pieces out as well. And then everything tabs in, oops, at the back. Kind of cool, man. It's a kind of a neat transformation. But just like um, crosshairs, kind of fiddly, a lot of parts pop off, and it does get annoying, especially these bits. I don't know why that is. They should have just put a pen on these, but at the same time, damn, man. There we go. Sorry for my language. Did I mention that this video is 13 plus? <laughs> And then you fold the arms just like that. 
fold them inward just like Bumblebee. Fold these like that. I'm sorry if this thing is not very... Um, I'm not going to have time to talk about the alt mode. Damn, man. I'm running out of time. And the figure's fighting me. Lately, my figures have been fighting me. And this is why I took a bunch of breaks from reviewing. Okay, why is this not working? Okay, that's what I thought. Right. Now, it's just a matter of having everything together. Okay, come on. That's it. And these bits fold just like that. Anything that comes untabbed, just basically re-tab it back in. Okay, there's that. There's that part there. And I think we are done? Yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. Um, A lot of panel lining. Don't really like that too much, but due to the design of the character... You kind of got to live with it. <laughs> but nonetheless, there he is in alt mode. And it's a really nice alt mode. I, I, I'm not going to lie. A lot better than lockdowns. Um, a lot more intricate as well in terms of the transformation as you've seen. And, you know, it's not that bad of a figure. Really, it, it really it, it's not a bad figure whatsoever. It's a great one. Um, and uh, the only thing I don't like is the matching plastic on the tires it really doesn't look great i might just end up painting those black and silver and then in terms of the orange it's it's nice i wish there was a little bit more orange to it but it is what it is but there you go um i guess for a vehicle mode comparison there he is with 86 hot rod and here he is with Darker than Bumblebee. And the last night crosshairs. So there you guys go. There's your vehicle mode comparison. Um, weapon storage in alt mode is pretty simple. You just kind of, there's a little tab right there. And you can just kind of plug it on the side of the car. Um, just to show you. There you go. You can tap it on the side of the car. Eh, it's all right. Not really my style, but nonetheless, everybody, there is Transformers Studio Series The Last Night Crosshairs. Uh, crosshairs? <laughs> Hot Rod. Um, sorry about that, but nonetheless, um, I hope you all enjoy this video review, and I hope to see you guys next time. Have a nice day.